know, this beauty salon, it's not just a whim. This is a mission for her. It's a long time dream, I know that. Then why are you standing in her way? I'm not standing in her way, Dusty. I've offered to help her make it happen. I've offered to loan her money. I've offered to look at the business plan. But you won't let her choose her own partner? No, no. I just said it shouldn't be you. It could get messy. I saw her down at job as she was crying. You know what? You are so hung up, Paul, on being her hero that you're not thinking about what she wants. Yes, I am, Dusty. Are you? Yes. Because this salon is a chance for her to prove that she is smart, to prove that she is capable of paying her own way. And she wants to prove to the world that she is marrying you for love and not for money. She wants this. She wants this so bad, Paul. Because she's got so much of her self-esteem at stake here. Get it? I guess I should talk to her. She's at the shop. Well, it's too late. She wouldn't be there. If she's going to be eight the way she's going to be there. Trust me. I do. Thanks, ma'am. So much for my infamous control, huh? I shouldn't have said that. I'm no, sorry. I pushed you, Ben. I did, and... Uh, I needed to know how you really felt. I never doubted that you were raped. But now when you keep protecting me. And it's so complicated. I'm trying to understand it myself. I don't expect you to. Try me. When Marshall got on the elevator, I was terrified. All I wanted was to get away from him. But then he started talking about Zara, his daughter. He had just come from the cemetery from burying her. I know I should hate him. I know that every time I see his face or hear his voice, I should want to destroy him. But. I have my moments. That's why I press charges. But then I have other moments that take the black and white of the situation and turn it gray. <clears throat> he raped you. He traps you in an elevator. He's, he's cruel and deliberate and, and both times you hesitate to report him to the police. Because both times, I was going to have to explain why I didn't kick or scream or sound some kind of alarm, and I couldn't. Do you understand? I mean, just a little? Try. Try. Being raped by a man that I once chose to be intimate with just confuses everything. I have been filled with nothing but doubt ever since that night. It, I mean, did I ask for it? Was I sending mixed signals? Did I not fight hard enough? You said no. I know I said no. I said no, and I meant it, but Marshall thought he knew better. And you know, you know what that cost me? My voice. You know that little voice inside that tells you who you are and what you want well now I question everything what do I want what do I like that joke that movie that person in the mirror looking back at me I just can't trust how I feel about anything anymore my home my couch your kisses your touch. Everything has been poisoned by Marshall. Me. You. That's it? If Carl 
Sally's baby's not yours, then there's nothing to keep you here, Mike, not even me. We need to get away from each other and, you know, just come to terms with what we've lost. What about work? I mean, you can't tell me the burn unit's done already. No, but it'll be close to being done by the time the baby comes and my foreman can finish the rest. You love me. You would be running away if you did. Let's not talk about love. I hate when you're right. You said that this was gonna happen. Think that you're gonna I also said that I'd hold you, right? big debut until after the baby makes hers. Uh, you'll have plenty of stress in, in trying to take care of a newborn and Parker both. It's too late. Why? Because Rosanna has changed from a silent partner to a very loud and pushy one. And she hired Barbara Ryan to shadow me. Barbara and Rosanna? How come I didn't see that coming? Well, those two women have spent... A lot of time trying to ruin my life. And I can't let them take this company away from me, Jack. I won't let them. I have to meet the deadline. If you can't... If... If trying... puts you and the baby in danger. I love this baby. I know that. I wouldn't do anything to, to put her at risk. I guess I don't have a choice. 